One of the things that I hear people talking about all the time is that they don't have enough blocks to build the stuff that they want to build about. Well, today, I am here to show you a trick that lets you build with literally an infinite amount of blocks. I mean, like, literally, you could think of a block that you only have one of. The rarest thing. And you can use an infinite amount of it. I mean, this is pretty crazy, so I hope... Then you guys are ready to get your minds absolutely blown. So to start off, I'm going to show you the mechanic that we're going to abuse to actually make this possible, guys. There is a mechanic in build -about, a little trick that not that many people actually know of because a lot of people haven't seen it as all that useful in the past. But dude, today I decided to sit down for like four hours and craft together a way to perfectly abuse this trick. Let me show you what it is that I'm talking about. So look right here. I have myself 2,245 blocks of gold, which is a lot, right? That's, that's a lot of gold, but I can't build no crazy structure out of gold. Guys, look at that. I just used my entire gold supply on this little ugly looking block. And what could I possibly do about this? You know, like, I mean, it's just an ugly block of gold. Well, guys, look at this. So currently, because the block of gold is on my plot, as you can see, I only have five blocks of gold left. Let's kill it up a little bit. Now I have zero, zero gold, okay? Now, guys, look at at this. I'm going to unanchor everything and I'm going to just move it away. I'm going to move it off my plot. And as you can see right now, I have exactly this the same amount of golden blocks and I can place them. I can skill them. I can do anything I want with them. And you guys might think to yourself, how the heck is this actually possible? What happens if a block moves away from your plot? It doesn't realize it and doesn't calculate it into the amount of blocks that you actually have. Now, the craziest thing is, is that I could actually bring this block back to me and save it. And then I would have two giant blocks of gold. Now, now, you might be able to tell why a lot of people underestimated this trick for a long time. Because it, it would be a bit of a pain in the butt to actually use. I mean, the thing it's used for the absolute most is duplicating. But guys, look at this right here. I have a save slot called infinite blocks. And as you guys can see right here, I have placed... How many have I placed? I have 13,000 wood left. Okay, I, 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 I placed a little bit more wood. I, I extended this final block right here. I have placed about 40,000 wood right here, okay? Now, let's say... I I was making an absolutely humongous build. I would only be able to build a wooden block this big, which is kind of meh. I mean, building a wooden block in general is kind of crap, but still, this is a, this is a, as big as I could make it. Now, guys, would you look at this? I flick this lever right here, and while I'm continuing building on my little wooden block, whoa, what, 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 what happened? All of a sudden, I have another 335 thousand wooden blocks i mean i am using very large numbers here but you get the idea this could be just like like 50 golden blocks this could literally be your one and only dragon egg do i even have this yeah your one and only dragon egg look at this guys dragon egg pretty damn rare a lot of people don't have that many of them if not even one i think you can only have one boom place dragon egg oh i want to place another one. Oh, okay place another one. Oh, i want to place one there too oh wait i already placed one here oops let's say i want to place one. wait wait i gotta i gotta pull push it out first <laughs> oh want to place another one okay oh i want to have another dragon egg oh there you go i could literally place as many of them as i could possibly want i mean i right now have four and look at that okay boom there it is there's my four dragon eggs i just did that to prove a point right but you might think to yourself jesse how am i I gonna perfectly connect these back together because this right here looks kind of like goat cheese it's all discombobulated and all that crap Click this lever twice and you're done that's it as you can see this is that one solid block of gold it is perfectly connected and i got all of my dragon eggs right here isn't that insane and i could literally save this right now here look at this i i, I save it save it i reload it and i can literally just delete the system right let's say i'm done with my build right and would you look at that guys everything is connected everything is stuck together and everything is literally perfect it is just one giant thing right now look at that now, woo! Now, previously, if I actually wanted to build with dragon eggs, I would have had to do all kinds of crazy duping and stuff like that. But guys, this is more useful than you might think. You can literally build some of the coolest things you can imagine with it. Like you could literally make a boat entirely out of gold. If you only have like maybe 50 gold, if you have 50 gold, you can probably build an entire golden boat using this trick here let me show you this this is my finalized proper system right as you can see it looks a lot nicer and a little bit more proper so that way it's going to be easier to explain to you guys exactly how to build this a little bit later but yeah guys let's say i am making i don't know a golden something something out of gold i don't have that much gold i mean i, I have a lot of gold but i don't have that much gold let's see i'm making a golden boat so i need to make it kind of boat like 
<laughs> this is gonna be the worst golden boat ever, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm just making my golden boat, guys. Now, this will be my front. Now, guys, just to actually be able to prove you guys a point, I'm actually gonna get rid of my other gold because I still have an obscene amount of gold, okay? So imagine I didn't have quite as much. <laughs> All right, there you go, guys. Let's say I right now here used every single golden block that I have. Now, all I need to do to actually keep building it, I just press out these two. There you go. And I just keep working. And as you guys can see, oh, wait, oops. I can keep working on it as if there is nothing that has ever happened. As if I literally just own these blocks. And I, I mean, this is where things kind of get really interesting is it actually allows you to make really intricate stuff like designs like previously if you would do something like this with duping it is so hard to make an intricate design like maybe let's say a little fence right here for your boat little boat fence yes all right a little bit more gold there you go there goes my next part of my boat all right move that out oh oops select all except that piece unanchored okay unanchored it. all right move it out and i can just keep working on it now usually you would build this one piece at a time like these modules so that way it's even easier to work on but even right now man i mean i I'm just building a freaking boat and it's like dummy easy <laughs> all right next piece done now guys if you're ever having a hard time like um i don't know if i'm really doing the right thing all you can do is you can just literally flick the lever and as you can see it will be literally right next to it which makes it even easier to work on i have obviously right now i have minus blocks but yeah i'm like oh okay yeah that's looking pretty good okay move it back out and keep working on it so yeah just as an example guys right here i have made myself my golden boat which is just really kind of like a box <laughs> All right, I saved this. Now, all I need to do to check it out, like I said, flick this lever twice. Oh, wait, oops. Wait. Select these things. Okay, boom. Now flick these levers twice. Yeah, and as you guys can see, everything perfectly synced up. And this is just like a solid build now. And as you can see, I have minus 600 blocks. It is pretty amazing if I say so myself. I mean, I spent a long time trying to come up with like the easiest way to build something like this. And I think I found it. Like, this is pretty crazy. All right, guys. Now, I am... Now it's time for probably the most exciting part, and that is to show you guys exactly how to build this, okay? And I don't think you want to skip over this because there's some pretty intricate details that you can actually use in a lot of future builds, okay? You got to keep attention here because there's going to be some pretty important information set for builds in general. So what I'm going to do right now to actually start my build is I'm going to kind of start towards the water. Like, let's say like I grab like 10 blocks out or something like that. You know, a decent bit away from the water, but pretty close to it because obviously I don't want to start like over there because then I have to push my build all the way over to right here, which is just going to be a pain in the butt, right? So we're going to start around over here. I'm going to just build a couple blocks up just to, you know, prove the point. But yeah, I'm going to actually just build with like little like, I don't know, like eight by eight cubes of gold just to show you the exact mechanic that I'm talking about right here. So yeah, this is the little thing that I'm going to make a giant boat out of, okay? I'm going to be using all my gold. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So this design that I'm actually going to go for is like this cube is going to go smaller and then bigger, okay? Just to show you how easy it is to actually sync everything up, okay? Um, So yeah, pretty much I've built myself my little cube right here. All I need to do right now is actually place a block right there and make sure that there's just a exactly one block gap between my next piece and this one. So yeah, actually gonna use merging level red makes it a little bit easier. Boom, boom. There you go. So yeah, there you go. There's there there's the next block. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is actually delete that. I don't really need that right now. So yeah, here we go. I'm gonna grab myself two blocks of wood just like that. And then what I'm gonna grab myself is I'm gonna grab myself a piston. And this is where probably one of the most interesting parts of this entire build comes into place that took me the longest to figure out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna place yourself a piston and you're going to grab your tool and you're going to set it to a piston length of three okay and then you're gonna click it it's gonna expand just like that okay then all that i'm gonna do right here guys just to start off i'm gonna start off with two pistons i think you can kind of measure it as you can see if i push this out this is how far the build will get pushed out so i need a little bit more i kind of ended up with two right here so yeah if i push from there yeah it, two is about good for the first one in this case but you can kind of see just like however long it is from right here to right here it needs to go from this point from right there all the way out to the water it needs to be out in the water to actually work so yeah two pistons is good for mine i explained it just so you can figure out for your own builds because not every build is the same, you know? Okay, now guys, all I'm gonna have to do is I'm actually just gonna have to connect this piston right here to this piece right here. So uh, let's see. I place this right here. This is connected now. Perfect. Oh, actually, I'm gonna go one more over here. I'm gonna go over a little bit more just so that way it gives me a little bit more leeway. So yeah, there you go. Boom, there you go. That's connected now, as you can see right there. I'm gonna just start working. Now guys, as you're, as you've just done this, you can start working on your next piece. Now, I'm gonna should quickly gonna save this all. Boom. So yeah, there it is. So yeah, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna place a lever right here and I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna just 
just paint this one piece right here red because it will always have to be anchored, okay? That's very important. Select all and then control click that one to deselect it. I'm gonna unanchor everything. So let's say I wanna keep working on it. All I have to do is just quickly flick that lever right there and I'm actually one piston short. I can't believe it. I mismastered. I'm a moron. I hope you guys aren't as stupid as I am, please. Okay, I'm <laughs> just... Okay, delete this, delete... Okay, wait, wait. Ah! I'm turning it to chaos. Select all. Anchored, okay? Make sure you anchor everything before you start messing with this. Okay, delete that one and place one more piston. Okay, I messed it up. I messed it up. Please don't hate me. Okay, boom. One more piston. I mean, it's that easy. <laughs> it's easy fix, okay? Okay, there. Boom. Connect it right there. And then I'm going to paint this red so that way I never unanchor it. All right, so make sure that I deselect this before I unanchor everything. So that way, this block right here is still anchored. So yeah, actually, I can anchor this right here as well. Everything right here can actually be anchored. So yeah, let's say I'm just going to continue working on it. So, you know, I ran out of gold just now. So I'm actually going to have to push this away. And as you can see, it's out of the plot. So I get my blocks back and I can just keep working on it. So let's see. I want to go a little bit smaller, like I said. So I'm just going to go like a little something like that. And, you know, you just kind of mess around. And you come up with whatever shape you want right here. Now, to make sure that you have built everything correctly, you can easily make everything come back. And you can kind of see, okay, it's going in a little bit, which is exactly what I was looking for. Push it back out. Actually, wait, no, don't push it back out. Leave it pull it while you're expanding. Okay, yeah. Okay, so all I have to do to keep expanding, I'm going to place myself my next block. So that's going to go right there. And I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to do the same thing with uh, that I did over here. But I'm just going to do it one block up. So yeah, I'm just going to go up a couple blocks, just like so. And I'm going to build the exact same thing. Now, all I need to do, place a piston right there. Boom. Set it to piston length three. Bang. Just like that. And expand it. And now I'm probably going to need what? I needed three right there. So probably need five. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Just like that. And now all I need to do is just connect these pieces together. So I'm just going to connect this to this, just like so. Um, that will actually just do just fine. So yeah, select all and select this stuff right here and unanchor it. And you're going to just be able to keep doing this infinitely and keep expanding. And that way you can actually keep building with literally an infinite amount of blocks. Like it's it's crazy. So there we go. Little piece right there. Okay, pull everything back in. And I'm going to just show you the next trick. The way that we're going to make sure that you always have a really large amount of space to do the stuff that you need to do is because we're, right now what we're going to do is we're going to go back down, kind of like right here. So we're kind of alternating. We're going to go down, up, down, up. So if I now keep building right here, as you can see, I will keep having a ton of space. Now, let's say this module is this long. Then we're going to go up a little bit. And then this module is this long. And as you can see, you will always have space for your module. So actually, just to show you exactly what that's like in this system, as you can see, what happens is you start off with maybe two pistons. Right here, I start off with two. Then every single time, you're going to have to add to it. And because right now, I'm, I'm using like five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five blocks exactly in width. Every single time, I have to add two pistons to the equation. So right there, it's two, four, and six. Six. So if you want to use the same math, it's it makes it pretty easy. And actually, I decided to kind of style it up a little bit with these like funky blocks, like a little thrust right there, a couple of poles, a little thrust right there, or a couple of poles, but it could be any blocks. But yeah, all you then need to do, okay, and this is where the final trick of the entire video comes in, is this right here, guys. This right here is a mechanic that I spent quite a large amount of time actually figuring out perfectly. Because guys, what usually made things super hard is connecting everything back together. Usually, what you would have to do is use like share, and move things in all kinds of awkward ways. And it was always a pain in the butt. Now, guys, fun fact, the number of things that you push on a piston is actually, like, irrelevant. Here, look at this. I set this to piston length one. Okay, I set this to one. And let's say I set this one to two, right? I push this out. Actually, wait, no, no, wait, sorry. Here, yeah, guys, look. I place a piston, uh, I place a block right on there. I select this piston and I set it to piston length one, right? Just like, you would think, like, oh, it probably pushes, like, what, like half a block or, like, a full block? No! What? That's not gonna connect. Like, that doesn't connect properly, as you can see right there, if I would try to connect these things. That's not right. That isn't perfect. I want it to be perfect. So what I did is I figured out that if you set one piston to piston length three and one to piston length one, there is exactly to the perfect number, like perfect increments, zero pixels in between this thing. So what that allows us to do, guys, as you can see earlier, we set every single one of our pistons to piston length three. So to actually properly connect everything back together, all you have to do is select all of these and set them to piston length one. And as you can see right now, I push them back out and everything perfectly connects together as if there was never even anything that messed with it. Now, once you've got your build fully put back together, all you have to do is obviously anchor it, select all anchor it, <laughs> and then just delete the actual actual module, just like so. Let's say your entire build is connected and you're done building, put the entire module away. Module's done for. And now you can just save this and load it back in anytime you might possibly want. And it's not like broken or anything. As you can see right here, everything is perfectly connected. You're not going to have no, everything's all of a sudden gonna fall apart on you kind of thing happening <laughs> imagine yeah there you go everything's connected but yeah guys with that i'm gonna be ending off today's video guys if you want to see 
more clever tricks, tutorials, all that sort of stuff. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. I would really appreciate it. We are so close to a million subs. Please subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. But yeah, guys, with that, I'll see y'all later, boys. Peace out, everyone. And bye-bye.